Hey there, my beautiful fairies. This is Jessie, your Fire Fae with Fire Fae Tarot. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell down below for me. Thanks for tuning back in. If you remember me from the previous channel that I, I deleted, um, I did have some government issues come up because of it, so I thought it was in the best interest to delete it, but, you know, they, they uh, I was, it was just, yeah. Who's dealing with their Ten of Pentacles? Okay, Capricorn or Cross Watcher? Is that totally you showing up in your own reading right now? We're not going to worry about my life. We're going to worry about everybody else's because that's what we do here at Fire Bay Tarot. I am only here to tell you the story of what's going on with the energies, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, a beautiful mid-September. So thank you, Cross Watchers. If you clicked on the thumbnail, something's going to resonate with you in the message. So please let me know down below in the comments. Like, share. Yes, subscribe. I love you. So everything will be in the box down below too. Working on everything getting back up. I don't know if my Amazon links work properly or not. Who the hell knows? So one step at a time. But let's do our videos. Cut it. Get into that. I'm also gonna oh, you know what? I forgot the prayer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, um, Zeus, thank you, God, uh, Jupiter, all of both Voldemort. Thank you, the force. Thank you, you know, Darth Vader and Anakin and Luke and all of those beautiful people who help believe uh allow people to believe in the something more so thank you so much for your abundance thank you so much for this day thank you so much for the love and the food and the earth and the homes and the showers and everything that's great in a life that you're able to do for yourself okay so thank you so much let's get into the reading so more to be amen i love you guys let's do this please. okay so what are we figuring out here i want to start with this one actually saying so we'll give her a good shuffle, Capricorn or Cross Watcher, and see what's going on. Again, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the mid month. What are the Oracle message? John Holland Oracle deck here. What are the awareness? There's an awareness that's coming through Capricorn or Cross Watcher in a situation here. All right, one is the number of new beginnings, also endings, because it's the um, you know the infinite there. One is just one. One is always going to be one. Into itself is one. To one times zero is zero. The, you know what I mean? Zero and one are always zero one. So, there's an awareness coming through. Anything else? Happy? Yeah, somebody's aware that somebody may be dealing with some heartache and some loss right now. All right, maybe that's you. Maybe that's the other energy, Capricorn, that you're currently dealing with right now. And that happens. All right, so sometimes you got to go and, um, what is it, Water Star Vibe Tarot? She's also read a, She said um, a few months back about an Aries reading. Um talking about going back into the locker room. It was a very good reading. You should go check her out. Um, so yeah, prosperity is about to begin though. There's that new awareness. Okay. So that new awareness is kicking in. The prosperity is about to begin here, Capricorn, because you're getting over maybe that heartache and loss, or maybe you're still dealing with that residual energy. Okay. Coming through. Not quite sure. Let's pull it here. Mm-hmm. Maybe somebody here is trying to make one last stand here at a uh, stable foundation, possibly with a fire sign, possibly with you, Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus here. The two bottom energies, uh, top energies that came out, oddly enough. And it could be about a twin soulmate karmic connection that you may have lost. Might have been with the Gemini, but I want to cut it. We're going to see if it all comes back out again. That's what I'm doing with these little poppers. You know what I mean? comes out it comes out if not it's a pre-popper it's to just that's another overall energy that's coming through all right let's see here let's cut it guys there's that ten of pentacles again beautiful beautiful bottom energy somebody might feel like they lost out on an opportunity here maybe emotional maybe with the water sign all right an emotional um offering here with the relationship because maybe they were um knowing they they knew they needed to sacrifice but maybe they weren't willing to yet because maybe they weren't done exploring. They were still being reckless. They were still being out there having fun, being stupid, and doing what they wanted to do. Maybe this little fire sign could be you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Or this could be you with this page of pentacles coming in. Remember, the pages bring communication. But when it's communication like this, this is communication that has no direction. It's pretty lost. It's pretty confunding. Like you'll text them a paragraph, you'll get one answer back if any communication at all. This person is not, you know what I mean? This person is not understanding what they need to do with that little pentacle right there. Okay, so maybe that's why the pages are both in the reverse. Maybe there's two people here and it's very childish communication. Okay, could be kids, you never know. Somebody wasn't putting any effort or any work in with an Eight of Pentacles as the conflict and the upright. 
So that energy here was at work, putting hard work into maybe just their career or certain situations that whatever they wanted to. And so they're putting hard work into their pentacles is what I'm hearing. So somebody was hard away at work. Where somebody seen it? Yeah, they lost out here on their happily ever after. Maybe there is the breaking up of a family. Somebody is, to, uh, maybe like I said, somebody had children here. And maybe there's a breaking up of that. If not, it's just a lot of childish communication going back and forth. Okay, because somebody's still pissed off about not having that cup anymore. Past foundations here. There was a judgment call made. Maybe a Scorpio, maybe an Aries might be here as well, somewhere in the chart. That's that energy where somebody came in and blew the horn. If that's either Gabriel or Michael, take your angel, okay? So that angel came in and blew the horn, and there was a judgment call that was made that was like, no, nah, I'm not dealing with this. You're not dealing with this. We're going to do this the right way, because if not, we know what's going to happen. So past energies coming in is that Nine of Cups energy. So that Nine of Cups energy here, right, that energy where it was all they were abundant they had plenty of cups they were happy emotionally financially they were doing pretty good they were doing what they wanted to do all right if that makes any type of sense so we got the page of swords coming in as the future energy this is that spying energy some people pick up it's a mental curiosity again it's another childish communication coming back in and forth and i think this is honestly you and the other energy are going back and forth in a very a very un Un, how do I put this? An unproductive communicational manner. <laughs> Try and keep it as specifically general as possible. That's the whole social worker thing. I'm telling you, it's great. I gotta figure. I gotta get that taken care of. Um, right now we're going with justice. Maybe you're dealing with the Libra. Somebody claim it. it came in with that mental clarity. There is that Ace of Swords and that balance coming into this situation. Capricorn or Cross Watcher. You could, like I said, be dealing with the Libra. What we don't see coming in is somebody was being divinely guided. Somebody had been through the situation. Somebody kind of saw it, knew what it was. They had that information from the Torah right there because they have the moon at their feet. Why? Because she is somebody who is in balance with her higher self listens to her intuition understands that she is guided by uh she's divinely guided okay is what capricorn or cross watcher somebody didn't see if that makes sense so hopes and fears that there's no hope in the situation or they're fearing there is no hope in the situation or people are losing hope in the situation you or them and maybe it is an Aquarius energy here. They're losing hope because balance is not being restored here. I feel like I'm talking about Star Wars right now. If not, somebody's going to stand in their power, Capricorn. You, the other energy, the beautiful Queen of Wands coming in, Aries, Sag, or Leo, with this energy here that comes in. She is divinely guided as well. You understand here? It could be the same type of energy coming in. It's like this person kind of knew what was going to happen. It's like this person knew you were going to come back. But they're still looking that way because they're handling their business. They can't wait for all this childish bullshit to go away. You know what I mean? And that may be the reason why the hangman energy is there. Clarifier. We're going to use our Gilded Tarot. Sierra Marchete. Sierra Marchete. So, thank you, Spirit. Let it have our clear, concise, compassionate message. I did shuffle this one before off deck. So, no worries, guys. They get shuffled. It just tries to save time. Page of Wands. Okay, maybe this King of Cups energy, this Scorpio, this Cancer, this Pisces, this water energy here in the past was getting over some toxic energy. Maybe you, Capricorn, or Capricorn, you were getting over this toxic King of Cups energy, okay? And maybe some behaviorish ways that needed to be changed, okay? What's the Four of Cups here? What's that Four of Cups? The Ten of Cups in the upright. Somebody feels like they missed out on their happily ever after with the person. Okay, Capricorn or Cross Watcher, not quite sure how that works. Take the energies as they resonate back and forth because sometimes it could be you, sometimes it could be them. If I say it's a man, it could be a woman. If I say it's a woman, it could be a man. If I'm saying it's a child, it could be an adult who is very immature and young-minded as well. Keep that up. So, just to kind of keep up with what's going on in the situation here. So, we have the Page of Pentacles. 
which is the seven of wands the reason why this communication is not coming in because somebody is blocking it and they're being defensive and they're not taking no for an answer they're just covering what's behind that door they're not letting anybody through they're letting all these people come at them and be like nah it's good it's okay you know what i mean i may just only have this one wand but it's all right i got enough i got enough skills and ingenuity to keep going here okay so the eight of pentacles is that ace of cups somebody's working hard on getting their balance and getting their money back in to give out that love offering i see the moon cycles okay so maybe it's going to happen like in a month's time all right capricorn or cross watch here you're going to be ready to give this love you're going to want this love or you're going to start getting over it here within the next month or so this is the middle of the month after it actually like 17th or 18th something like that 18th no. i gotta look at the calendar i forgot i know it's a wednesday that's all. So, what is our Ten of Cups in the reverse then, since we had it pop out twice? What's the Ten of Cups in the reverse? Somebody feels like they've lost out on an opportunity here with an individual. Maybe this Queen of Wands, maybe not. And there's that Eight of Pentacles again. Again, there's the Eight of Pentacles. So, where did I just see that? <coughs> That was the last reading, excuse me. So maybe you need to check the Sagittarius reading because this came out in there too. So the Eight of Pentacles here, somebody here was too busy working and focusing. See, I knew it just came out. I'm retarded. It's right there. There's that doofy moment. There's the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles, somebody here lost out. Maybe they feel on this happily ever after because they felt like they were putting too much work into maybe another Capricorn, maybe another Taurus, maybe another Virgo, other energies, or maybe just into work altogether. They weren't really focusing on love, and this other energy wanted love. What's the judgment? That was quick. Yeah, the hanging man. Told you. Hanging man. Somebody here knew they needed to make a sacrifice. They knew they needed to make a choice. They knew they needed to get themselves untangled from this chain of this web that they weave, okay? And what happened maybe with this Scorpio or this Aries or this water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio here, okay? King of Cups is usually still uh, Scorpio for me. There you are, Capricorn, maybe getting out of this toxic energy with this here. And you're done with it. Somebody's being defensive. But somebody knew they needed to change their ways, and somebody called called their bullshit. Somebody called their bluff. Capricorn, somebody called your bluff, or uh, you called somebody's bluff, Capricorn, and you were like, oh, damn, this bitch really never came back. All right. <laughs> so, or whoever, Capricorn, if that's not you, that's the other energy. Like, yeah, I know, but Capricorn never came back, or I'm not going back there. We good. Yeah, see? Somebody wanted a new passionate start here with a fire sign. Or a new passionate beginning or a new creative start maybe in life. Maybe they wanted to follow more of a hobby type thing. If this is going more towards a career resonating, do you understand? This could be work situationships too where you're dealing with a lot of amateur energies at work. That happens a lot. That happens a lot. It happens a lot. Page of swords, page of swords. Where's my page of swords? Yeah. There's the Hierophant. There's that Taurus. Somebody is spying here. Maybe it is a Taurus energy, okay? Somebody maybe there might be dealing. It's about a job you're looking into. It could be some type of contracts. Maybe you're wanting to start a business, I'm hearing. Um, if uh, Capricorn, you were wanting to maybe give a commitment to somebody. You're, you're wondering if you can offer a commitment to somebody is what I'm hearing. Because, you know, in the past, somebody's getting over some toxic shit, and it could have been a King of Cups energy Capricorn. And it's the Queen of Wands you want to go towards, because the Hierophant is over here looking at the Queen, and the Hierophant and the High Priestess, those are counterparts. See, working hard here, okay? It's kind of like, ever play checkers? Well, that was a lot. <laughs> So, the reason why, like I said, here's the Page of Cups again in the reverse, okay? This love message, this love offering is not coming in due to the fact that it's not being given. This is like the fourth page. One, two, three. We have all four pages on the deck. <laughs> um, if I'm bored right now, it doesn't matter which deck for me. If they both popped out, it <laughs> doesn't matter. They all popped out, I mean. So... 
And this Queen of Wands energy, again, is somebody who is divinely guided, a high priestess type energy. And they're focusing more on their money. They're being frugal with their emotions. They're being frugal with their world. They're not wanting to be generous and share because they want something that's true. They want a divine soulmate partnership here. And that's what maybe came in, Capricorn, is what you were realizing. You know that if you don't come correct towards this energy, Capricorn or Crosswatcher with true commitment is what you're learning they are or the other energy is that it's just not going to work maybe you're dealing with the gemini you could be dealing with the sagittarius could be dealing with an aries a scorpio another capricorn or taurus okay really um anybody at this point the high priestess all right that energy for me is usually water because of the moon all right and that's the divine feminine energy for me so it could be really anybody's moon sign so yeah here what we don't see coming in somebody was being deceptive somebody was was being trickery uh had a lot of trickery was being very cunning in a situation here capricorn or cross watcher and somebody was not maybe being the complete honest here and this other energy kind of knew that maybe not at first but it came to them what is the magician i want to know what's the magician in the reverse about why is that there Oh, you're not going to give me another card now about that? Just one. I just want to know. One card. What's the magician? Yeah, see? The high priestess in the reverse. Somebody didn't realize maybe this Pisces energy or could be an Aries energy here. Or Capricorn. Somebody didn't realize you were going to be. Maybe this energy was very smothering, very deceptive, very cunning, very tight. Kept somebody tied down and locked in you know what i'm saying because they were just very jealous in certain situations if that made sense and it wasn't because it's like their own internal jealousies of what made this energy act like this okay so the star in the reverse what's that star guys Somebody here might have been gossiping, dealing with a third-party situation, and maybe had too many options. That's why the communication wasn't coming in. Somebody was still moving on. They got over the emotional situation, and they were needing to focus on their balance here. That's what. That's why this. They're losing hope because somebody is still taking a step back and focusing on balancing themselves in this material world, mental world, spiritual, getting their chakras in balance. They're still getting over that heartache and loss yeah they might be drinking if not somebody wants to make this offer into this queen of wands energy you capricorn or capricorn this is you embodying this queen of wands all right and you're being abundant and you're having fun you've got a lot of options and love out there and you're wanting to stay single and do your thing maybe capricorn or cross watcher and everybody's sitting here spying and because somebody wants to kind of tie you down and make you commit and, and you're not over some heartache and loss that's really why you need to do that but if not you're ready to commit with this queen of wands energy it's like that new mental clarity came in okay with this energy with this abundance like i said the justice the libra the balance the vision came in if that makes sense of that ace of swords like i said new communication new mental start okay what angel deck are we going to pick the love that was very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now capricorn or cross watcher if you're thinking about your capricorn he's there cappy's been showing up in a lot of readings they're like oh it's devil energy it's devil energy it's probably not it's just a capricorn they just seem like devil energies because they always so focused on their money they have bad tendencies with their monies they, they like they have control issues see look let go of control issues so, yeah, you need to retreat from the situation. There is deception or trickery and healing family issues, okay? So, maybe somebody does need to heal a family issue here that they have children with. They need to let go of the control issues, okay? They need to understand if they don't fix this situation very soon, it's not going to get fixed. And you're not going to be able to re recoup any of your losses in this situation is what I'm hearing. You need to retreat and do some soul searching because somebody is wearing a false mask. Somebody is lying. You are lying. They are lying. Somebody's lying to themselves about feelings in this situation or maybe lying to themselves about the part that they played in this whole fiasco I'm hearing because somebody needs to heal some major family issues. I told you we had four pages on the board that could be kids, guys. So 
cussing deck or a rebel oracle deck here. Stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person, just fucking stop. Stop spending your time on someone worth stop spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Who doesn't love, love Rob Deerdick? Watch that show. Don't stalk them. Okay? Watch that show instead, okay? <laughs> All right, you're giving away your power. You know what I mean? You're a badass. Act like a Capricorn or Cross Watcher, okay? Remember that awareness is coming in. You're getting over some heart um, heartbreak and loss, and you're understanding that. And once you figure out how to get through it, your prosperity will begin is what I'm hearing. So ask a fucking expert, okay? Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Even if you're watching a tarot reading, okay? If you feel you need professional help from a doctor, a psychiatrist, a therapist, somebody, go get it. Go get it, okay? Don't hesitate. All right? Our final Sierra on our Chetty deck here. This is our uh, Fin de fin Seco Kepper. I just call it the Kepper deck. It's just so much easier. I told you there's a marriage here, maybe Capricorn or Cross Watcher, that somebody's wanting to fix, get resolved, or maybe you're wanting to marry somebody. You feel like marrying somebody is giving away your power, all right? Not quite sure. Or you feel that maybe the breaking up of a marriage is taking away your power. I don't, I don't know. Or you're losing power over somebody you're married to, or somebody is no longer under your control, or you're not under their seat. You feel like somebody might be thieving in this situation. Maybe an emotional thief, a financial thief. Just maybe taking your kids or your family away, Capricorn or Cross Watcher. I don't know. This is getting a little specific for somebody. Anything else, Spirit? Yeah, there's going to be great fortune coming in, though. All right? Be careful, though. Somebody is trying to take your abundance and might be trying to take some of your power or your personal stuff away from you. You know what I mean? Maybe somebody's trying to come in and take a, take your spouse and you need to figure out. If not, maybe it's just your own toxic ways that are screwing up your life and you need to figure it out so you don't mess up your life. Now, sometimes we all got to be real with our fucking selves and not do that shit, right? Anything else, Spirit? No? There's a marriage coming in, though, and you feel like you're going to lose a lot of your money if you get married, and you may. If not, you might be going through a divorce right now, and you're about to lose a lot of money, you feel. You may. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You feel like everything you've worked for is maybe going to be gone. If not, emotionally, this marriage stole a lot from you, but you're going to wind up getting it back in your job. No, that's better. And there's still going to be a child in this. There's kids in this situation, like I said. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Okay? Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Anything? We got Betty. What's, what's, what's old Bitty Betty about to say? Sorry. Old Bitty Betty. She shouldn't really have any, anything too negative. This is, I believe, Radley, Val Rad uh, Radley Valentine in the Rainbow, I think. I forgot the boxes over there. That way we... Alright, what you got, Betty? What you got? Anything you want to say? Alright, we'll take them. So, we got the Queen of Autumn here, which in this deck is the Queen of Pentacles. Be practical with how to respect how you proceed with this. We got the Eight of Spring, dress that comes from ha having many things that happen at once, which is the Eight of Wands. But it's not always a bad thing because you're needing to get balanced. The Two of Autumn, the Two of Pentacles, bring fun into everything you do, juggling multiple priorities. But you've got a great talent at this Capricorn or Cross Watcher because it's about unity. Do the right thing for the right reasons. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see what works for you. This is the Taurus energy coming up again. Stand in your power, Capricorn. Um, represent your brethren energy of the Taurus and be that leader of men. Be that leader of people. Be that leader of your family that you need to be. Prince of Summer, romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious. Okay? You need to go and sweep somebody maybe off their feet and put some actual effort into this. Because you can be a very caring, compassionate, this is you, king of pentacles, um, very charismatic and gifted person. You're assertive when it comes to it. Um, you know what's right. Everything's going to go your way. You're a good company and a good person to work for. Okay, Capricorn or Cross Watcher? Keep that in mind. You might have lost something because of a marriage and it kind of hits you so hard or a long-term relationship you feel or you're scared to get married. I don't know. I, I'm not here to say. 
but it looks like it's going to work out in your favor though okay like share subscribe hit that bell down below for me this is jesse your fire fate with fire fate hero and don't forget this might be up on the fire goddess zero too all right